All right. Good morning. Hello, peeps. That's my intro nowadays. I say hello, peeps. Sounds funny. Okay. Uh, start with my first CS2 map here. Um, it's nice to be back to mapping. And what a better way to start mapping for a new game than a castle map, right? I'm having fun with the new tools. Just the ability to make like something like this. These are all beveled, so they're like nice and round, smooth, you know? It's all like quite simple stonework. And for once we have like actual good matriculations in a, in a castle, you know? These would be used to, if you can see the hole over here, imagine you're you're sieging a castle and there's a, there are two archers up top and 15 men down here trying to push the gate. This gate is it's it's the wrong way around. Like this gate should be there should be a primary gate over here, and there, this is called a kill house. Um, and I'm gonna flesh it out a little bit more with the detailing. Anyway, imagine you hide here under the wall, or like right next to the wall. So before, the walls would be designed in the way that there's only these like uh, arrow slits that you can see like th this far. But when the enemy gets past this line. They get under the wall, so there used to be a dead, uh, like a, like a blind spot under here. So what engineers back in the day, in the twelve uh, hundreds or thirteen hundreds, uh, they understood or they really realized like let's make a little hole that we can throw and shoot and uh, you know shoot at the necks of people who get like very close. So that's an actual realistic representation of, of like a castle wall back in the day and these are called corbels corbel stone it's usually a large stone that is fitted so that it, you can put some more weight on it and uh, a shout out to nordic who's working on a map called de corbel rest in peace that map is never going to get finished there's a little gap gotta fix that okay let's get to the map actual layout this is all detailing i'm just having fun over here mm. I've managed to incorporate like two gameplay serves, which is actually kind of cool. T spawns over here, you push forward, and this gives you a little uh, timing advantage if you're able to nail it. But it's a, it's around eight eight ish seconds to the middle of the map, which we have two entrances to the to the middle as a T. This 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 like tall arch, which you go through the kill house, then you get go down the ramp, and here this goes to A. This goes to middle, so it's quite of a simple of layout around the middle. So it's two entrances. That's it. Back here, these I tested this out with the smoke. CTs are able to smoke this before T's push here. Fun thing. I dropped my AK. The fun thing is that you can you are able to shoot over the smoke as a T and as a CT. You know you can push further up to be concealed behind the smoke. The second CT position that the T's have to worry about, if they don't push out, or in, in, in any case, CT's are able to get to this tower part, which is, think of short on Mirage Dust 2, whatever. That's a classical short entrance, it's just above these stairs. And what do we see down here? There's a CT sniper angle to the stairs. So CT's can decide if they want to play passively from bottom mid, or like this lane and from inside the tower T cts never have to push into here but if they get this under control they're able to flank to a and from there be able to flank to b and if they get this top part if this is not covered by terrorists if they don't push into uh b lane or b b main CTs are able to get to this tower and it's a very advantageous spot to actually just cover and just hold this because you're able to flank this and this. I want to encourage counter-terrorist uh, action to push into the given terrorist area, kind of. But then again, I really don't know how this, this area is going to play, but... With the rotations in mind, this definitely is considered the middle of the map, right? You know, you can get from A side is over there. From outside A, you can get to flank B main. 
B main is over here. Or you can drop down from here and be in the lane. But we'll see how this whole dynamic plays. I have to make the main a little bit more covered from the lane so that it's, it's actually advan like there's a little bit of, of an advantage to push from here instead of here. This is very open, but we'll see how it plays. Um, let's talk about B main first, since it's not 100% fleshed out yet. I have to do some fixes before I play this thing. For example, this area is very open and I have to cut up some sidelines. I don't want for there to be this sideline necessarily to T-spawn so that this back area uh, gets a little bit more of like an accurate representation of a castle uh, in between walls area. So like this, this is more what you would see very high arches uh, with walkways up, uh, up top and then kind of tight um, corridors. And, but I don't want to make the map feel that corridory, so I, I have managed to get like quite a lot of open space, and this is more of like a like a terraced space to set up before a bombsite take. But I do want to get the main feeling of a castle definitely in this map. But yeah, that this sideline is, is kind of worrying. But the B main from gameplay side of things, CTs are able to get to this sort of a. a, a pushing position here uh, they will have to worry about two angles if T's boost on this roof like so uh, there's a pillar that the CTs can hide behind so this lane I, I hope that it's going to be um, a little bit separated from like this area here but definitely if, C like, if CTs manage to push up and smoke this then it's going to be a, a bit, little bit of a rougher time for the CTs to push, I mean, uh, for the for the terrorists to push through that. And I want for this rotation to be there so that T's always have a, a, a space to go. But then again, like this site or like this push from here to here, from that arch to this arch is going to be a little bit more difficult with the CTs inside the tower. So we'll see how that plays. I, 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 I am hopeful for this dynamic to play well. But yeah, the, the B main is the last thing that I did, or I made to the, made for the level, and that definitely needs to be um, a little bit more fleshed out. But yeah, look at all the shaping. It's so nice just like being able to do this with mesh work. Also like the little beveling on the, on the thing, you know? Um, okay, so what this double or like this pillar also does, it allows for players to peek from two angles in front of the pillar and from the back. This also allows for players to smoke up top. B bomb site. I'm not so sure about it yet. I might have to push the stairs to here and push the bomb site closer. I think that's what I'm gonna do, and then I can also push the back side a little bit closer because right now the map, the bomb site feels so separated from the main. I want to keep like little bit of a of a space here so that smokes have quite a quite a big role in taking the bomb site you know all these ct positions are kind of easy to smoke and even even like that deep arch with the with that like super back um like ct position it's it's kind of easy to smoke but intuitiveness has to be promoted on the behest of utility placement like it has to be intuitive to use these smokes otherwise players will be will be feeling lost players will be like oh well, the map sucks because it's too hard to do anything if the if the utility feels intuitive the players will immediately be like oh let's just pop a smoke here and then they will have a, a great time and a great map um kind of kind of tells you without saying can shows you without telling where to do what. And right now this bomb side doesn't really necessarily do that, but yeah. And also with maybe maybe if I extrude this a little bit, imagine this would like extrude over there. And this would have like more of a classical like a lip. You could as a CT you could have a little like a further position like this. Right now you can't really play from the bomb side, you cannot play towards here. So actually having like a box in the middle of this so you could like peek both sides. I'm going to do that, actually, yeah. 
and then have the bomb sight on the lip and a little bit more reduced back. Also, I could push this arch to be along this wall so that I could reduce the back. Um, like this doesn't have to be this wide, this battlement over here. Mm, a couple more things. I'm trying to include stuff like this in the map. We'll see if this finds any use, but this could be like super fun. Late round as a CT. If you if you don't, if you don't even want to go for the go for the bombsite retake, you can just like try to see if, if a terrorist peeks peeks from that. There's another position around a bombsite like that. Might get a little bit more play, but we'll see. A bombsite. Okay. This we have a window, and we have a bombsite main. This CT window position. If CTs don't push here. The T's can slip by and boost into the window and get to short and flank the window player and then push into the bomb site. The bomb site in and of itself, it's uh, it's a little bit too large from the top. I might have to cut it down a little bit. And with that change, I might be able to squish it a little bit more towards that direction. So that there's a little bit more space on the bomb site and I can actually have like two additional play, uh, playing positions. Right now we have this back area over here, which has a nice angle all the way down to A main. We'll see how we, how that will play. Also, the lighting is, is just absent from that position. But yeah, this box does quite a lot. It allows for CTs to play behind it. And it requires a T molly to, if you don't want to clear it, you know, just molly it, see what happens. And then push over here. There's another angle over there. Inside, this is, I don't, Think anyone's going to, be, going to be playing like necessarily from there, but maybe maybe in the back side, like over there, uh, angle there. And after you've get in the got in the control over this, this might be a problem. Actually, can you see over it? Oh yeah, you can. <laughs> I have to fix that. Um, after you see, or after you get the box, you can have two more angles to peek from plus this edge to hold. And then you can inch your way closer, get past this. Maybe there's going to be a CT playing in here. I have to nerf this angle. I don't want for the players to be necessarily over there. Maybe off angling on top of this. But yeah, this is supposed to be like after T's get main, they can push into here. And another battle is going to be happening here from CT arch. This is a CT spawn. There's a bridge that the players are going to be crossing to get to retaking the bomb site. And here, there's a stairs position. It's probably good to hold against CT and the arch. Arch is kind of, it's kind of open to the stairs, but yeah, we'll see what happens there. And then the bomb site has like this back cubby. Again, needs to be lit probably. I want to, to test like this kind of a simple, minimalistic bomb site layout. Like it's two boxes at the end of the day. And these two boxes, I feel like give a lot of utility. And you're not necessarily playing on the bomb site anymore. You're playing like around it. And we'll see what this. I'm gonna call this jail tower. I'm gonna have like a row of, of jails. Every castle has to have a jail house, right? The jail house used to be here, and I had to simplify the area quite a, quite a bit after some feedback. Um. But yeah, we're good. Gotta, I gotta have a jail. Yeah, I'm excited to see how the how the map will play. Uh, oh, cool, cool, cool stuff in CT. So CTs, uh, I'm not sure about the timing yet, but CTs are they they spawn here like quite literally here. They're able to boost on top of this. Have to make it easier though, and they can now push into B main and get a better timing into B main when pushing. Right, that's a little, little bit of a collaborative thing. Also, they can boost up here to get a better timing to short. Very net reminiscent of Dust 2, like, boost me short, whatever, you know? That could happen in this map, and I, I definitely want to, like, design around that sort of a timing boost, you know? Boost that gives a little bit better of a timing. Uh, around CD spawn, we have this ramp that this goes down to middle. Like so. And another nice angle over here. You're not necessarily going to get the kill. Maybe now. I made it wider. Didn't mean to make it that wide. I could actually take it away. But I kind of like the, the wide angle. And I also like how 
this little cubby in the lane corresponds to the CT angle now. So if you're actually if you're if you're able to get into into this lane cubby, you're able to cover the CT CT rotation from here. And now that's that's an actual fight. Um, this lip was made so it used to work. God damn it! I have to make it smaller. There used to be an angle over here, but then I pushed this wall. So th this map making is is, is f so much fun. You know, you, you you move one thing, another thing breaks, and then you have to fix that, and then you forget. Uh, this is why we make these videos. I'm gonna use this video for a little bit of a of a list of fixes to come. You know. Um, oh, another another thing, another cool thing for the CT rotation. You're able to do this jump. It's not a very hard jump. You can do that. Everyone can do that. Uh, you can get to retaking A from this lower part. Yeah, so you don't have to boost over here. You can boost if you are in a, in, a, in the hurry and like coming from down here. Like oh, get up and then someone boosts you. You're like okay. So boosting, I definitely want to see people get creative with the boosts. Like terrorists have two boosts uh, in, in main. They have this middle boost over here. They can boost to peak the angle. They have that. They have, yeah, that's about it. That's about it for those those boosts. Definitely want to the, probably make this into a boost as well. So you could like see over the wall over here. Maybe that Maybe that will be a thing. Yeah, and there's another boost spot over here, so CTs can boost over here. And then don't have to do the jump over here if you're playing short. Yeah, and A um A main timings are in a way that if you if you boost over here, you're going to waste like 2 seconds to the boost, but you're still able to make the make the timing to hold this in any way you in any way you want. So like this truck one is so tight that you can make it actually there. Um, yeah, I didn't show this position yet. It's just a just a guard, guard tower, I guess. And this wraps around to the back of B, and this wraps around to the bridge, city bridge. Um, yeah, that's that's about the map. That's everything I got right now. I'll be making these changes to the map and play this thing it soon on Map Inc. You want to join the playlist join from the link down in the description and it's a discord server we do mapping cs2's release has been a blast it's been so much fun just talking about the engine talking about mapping talking about new possibilities with with just like making the maps new smoke like designing around these smokes Oh no, there's smoke in the way. And that, now you breach the, the smoke with the grenade. I'm like, oh. So designing paths like this, don't. It, it's the, the conversation about, oh, you pop a smoke there and it's like, it's it's disabled for uh, 18 seconds. Nah, bitch. You can actually do something about smokes now. So designing, de designing with the smokes in mind now, so much more fun. <clears throat> of course, it costs utility, but that's the name of the game. Counter Strike is a is a utility and a cost effective. If the more cost effective you are, the, the the better you'll be able to purchase your weapons in the future, right? All right. Uh, I don't have a name for this map yet. I just named it Fortress. That's a very development type type of name. I will come up with a with a with a cool name later on. I'm very bad with names. Maybe I'll ask T1. Okay, that's about it. Take care, guys. Happy mapping. See ya.